这是阿鲁，我上去我会被踢啦。Hi, papi. Oh, mami, mami, ya te dije. Me la puse linda. Y tú también. Tú ves, papi. Tú ves. Sí. Que se, te ves tan lindo. Qué、okay, gracia. Y me gusta. Oye, hombre, ¿de dónde sacaste eso? ¿Es esto en un boot stuff? Yeah. That's, that's really, really nice. Papi, te ves tan lindo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yo soy lindo. He's wearing. He's wearing a, a, a my Crocs, which is so funny. Manya na manana. Hey, it's supposed to be mañana. How do I laugh, Ale? Now, why does everybody call him Papi Lindo? Oh my gosh! So I was obsessed with my dad. I still am.、Um, my grandmother knew how much I loved him, and she joked around. And in Spanish, feo means ugly, and she said, "Su papi es feo." She was. Joking around me, and she's like, "Your dad is ugly," and I got so mad at her that I was like, "My papi is not ugly. My papi is lindo." In Spanish, that's beautiful or or pretty or you know, or cute, so, yeah. or cute, yeah. yeah. So from then on, I was like two or three years old, and I know that sounds so mean from my grandmother's part, but she knew what she was she doing. Was <laughs> she was just ribbing like, her. Yes, and so from that moment on, I called my papi, papi lindo, and it's funny because my father has the most beautiful spirit. Um, and, and everybody calls him Papi Lindo, by the way. Which everybody. is so. I call him Papi Lindo. Yes, everybody calls him Papi Lindo, and it's funny because he has such a beautiful spirit. His nature. He's like so. I I always I I call him the happiest man on earth, and I always、uh, I, for years I've said. Yeah. This guy's gonna live forever because <laughs> we say that he is. You know, things just whisk by him. You know, he doesn't get worked up. Everything、Carefree. is like okay. Papi, you used to let us do everything to you. I at the at a very young age, my dad let me cut his hair with a razor. Do you remember that? And then I went way too high. <laughs> He let me experiment. He said I need a haircut, and my dad is the most frugal guy in the world. Oh my God, Papi, you don't remember that? Aha, you pisa se curta. And I went so far up. <laughs> He's like, that's not funny. <laughs> Why would you let me do that, though? Porque no importaba. Yo después me contestaba después. I fix it later. Oh, that is funny. His whole attitude、um, in life has been like. I'm gonna enjoy this moment, whatever it brings, and I love that about him. I think that is so special, and、mm -hmm. I'm just—I—it I, makes me happy to see my girls with him.、Um, and he's just—I'll also add this. You see how much she adores her dad. I've always said if I can manage to do the same with my girls、yeah. and have them adore me in that way. So I've—I've I've really studied. I've. I've Interviewed Claude about what it is about your dad that you love so much. What was it about? And I've distilled it down into the the following:、mm. being able to be open to anything your girls have to bring to you without judgment. And if、yes. I can manage that that level of trust throughout their lives, and and you know even get a fraction of the adoration that. That Claude has for her dad, for my girls,、yeah. I will consider myself a success. So, I, I, Papi Lindo is a case study for me, for sure. <laughs> He's a special guy, very special. All right, so my dad、um, used to write what they call coritos. Is that how you say Papi coritos? Coritos. So he would write coritos. He would always involve my sister and I. And at the time. I, I loved it. Of course, like as a kid, you're just like, oh, why do I have to learn this, you know, Spanish corito? Um, 
but we really secretly loved it. And we particularly loved this song that the girls are learning. My dad wrote and composed this song and it's called um, Su Nombre. And now he is teaching the girls this corito. And it's been a lot of fun to see this um, happening. They're always just like, you know, wanting to be around him. And uh, in Spanish, we have this saying that says La Sangre Llama. And it roughly translates to um, the blood calls. And what it means is just that when there is that fam familial bond there, it's nothing can break it. And they're just very drawn to him. And it makes me happy because it reminds me of my childhood. So, yeah. Te quiero, te quiero tanto. Te quiero tanto. Yeah, adiós, papi lindo. No, no, no. No, no, ahora no. Ya no. Okay, Hello. Hello, papi lindo. Te quiero tanto. So my dad has a very interesting story. Um, like so many of you guys, um, my dad is an immigrant. He came here from Ecuador. And I just love to hear these stories and to share them with my girls. Um, we talk about this often. Papi, verdad que yo siempre te pido, like, yeah. I'm always asking him and probing, like, what it was like to, um, to get to this country. And he actually came at a very late age. And I would love to ask him those questions and just to understand more. He, my father used to document everything. He was in the 80s and the 90s with a big old VCR on his um, on his shoulder. ¿Verdad, papi? Que tú siempre grababa todo. He would record everything. And it's awesome to look back at these um, the footage that he took of us when we were growing up. Right, papi? Yes, the first recorder. How big was it? I get right away and I start <laughs> recording everything. You smile, you eat it, you drink. You walking, you play game. <laughs> everything. He recorded everything. And I used to love that. And thank you, Papi. Gracias yeah. por hacer eso, porque ahora tenemos los recuerdos. Now we have all these memories that we can look back on because he recorded everything. And we used to be like, oh, my dad with the big old camcorder. And now I'm like, oh, my dad with the big old camcorder. Thank you. Oh, please take out the camera. All the time. We all are tired time. of this. Tired of the camera. But look. It worked somehow, right? I came to this country when I have 35 years old. 35 years old. Papi, eso es un adulto. That's like a full-fledged yeah. adult, 35 yeah. years old. And he came from a place called, ¿cómo se llama? Manta. Manta City. Manta City. It's a port. It's a port in Ecuador. And um, he was 35 years old, he's just said. And, papi, ¿cómo tú llegaste aquí? How did you get here? Like, what was... Like, why did you come to America? Uh, they needed a organ player. So they needed an organ player for a, a band, right? For the band, yeah. But the guy only only have only need the the the, the piano player. Mm -hmm. But the guy listened to me singer and he said, "I don't have a special place for you, but so I, if you accept this hundred dollar a week." You can go and say, yes, I want to see New York. Really? Yeah. We were always told he won, like he kind of won this ticket um, uh, to America to sing in a band. No one was looking for this. Someone heard his voice and said, you, I want you. Mm -hmm. And they offered him a salary that at the time my dad was like, heck yeah, you know, um, and, and it was a blessing. And so what was it like when you first came to like New York City? I, I was so happy when I see everything mm -hmm. beautiful, different. It's more when I return, I'm, I'm up for I cry for my country. Aww. In two months, I can eat very well. I think in my country. When I return to my country, I see a little house, a little street. They said, for that, I was crying. <laughs> that is so fun. So, yeah, I can imagine how 
like homesick you were because it's so different. Manta is this beautiful city um, that is now developing, but it was not developed at all. My father lived in a very, very simple house over there. And the, the, the people there are so beautiful and warm and the food there, la comida, mm -hmm. verdad papi? It's like so amazing and you the, craved the, and missed that. The best thing is the fish. Yes, they're very, a lot of seafood, yummy seafood. And you craved and missed that when you came here. I can't even imagine at 35 years old, like doing, like getting up and leaving your whole family. And you had a big yeah. family. Yeah. Like a lot, how many siblings did you have? Cuantos hermanos y hermanas? Six, think? Uh, six, four, mm -hmm. four, three brothers and one sister. And it was, it was six of them all together. So, tú, tú regresaste a Ecuador porque tú querías a regresar a Ecuador. Yes. So, he went to Ecuador. He went, went back to Ecuador because he missed Ecuador. But that Cho Pablo te quería aquí. Yes. His bandmate, like the the maestro or whatever, the leader of the band, wanted him here because he needed him as a singer. And my father sang, ¿qué clase de música? What type of music? Cumbia. Cumbia, salsa. salsa. And romantic music. Boleros, romantic music. My dad used to sing. And it was so fun because growing up, we were raised with all that beautiful music and my father would always be singing and it's just so many memories of him singing um and so papi when you when you got here you decided you're going to stay here yes because no no really my my dream was return to my country but i i was singing in a, in a club and i knew i saw your mother. <laughs> Go ahead. I and, fall in love with her. Uh, and then, and then that was. And Mary, I stay here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you did, Papi. I'm very, <laughs> very glad that you did. So my father stayed here. He had my sister and I, and I remember as a young kid, you were very um, active at singing. Like you were always, you always had gigs. You would spend the weekends cantando. You, he was always singing um, during the weekends. Friday and, and Saturday. Friday and Saturday nights. He really wanted to pursue this dream of singing in his band. And um, when he had a family life, it became very difficult being in nightclubs and being, um, you know, having that weekend nightclub life and being a singer. And it's hard when you have two little girls and you have to also provide and it's I can't imagine how difficult it is that is a difficult life I think you did this until how long cuantos años yo tenía como yo tenía four or five no papi I remember it being like I was eight years old yes yes yes, yes. yeah <laughs> he's like yes four or five eight years old yes yes that's what I was around eight years old when my father decided to um kind of let go of that dream and he then got a secure job um, and he did very well for himself. Um, he worked for Pfizer and um, my dad, I'm telling you, anywhere he goes, he'll be all right. And you gave us a wonderful life and I thank you so much. But during those years, my father, I think, had a hunger for music and he always had Adrian and I singing, no matter I mean, literally everywhere we went, my dad would put Adrian and I to sing. It's been a blessing. And I just want to say thank you for giving us that gift of music and for teaching us everything that you know. And thank you for now doing that with the girls. And yeah. I want to tell you something. Okay, tell me something. When you have four or five years, one day you start singing a music. And I can believe, wow, you sing exactly like 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 that like I listen in the in the mm -hmm. like the record or whatever. The record or mm -hmm. whatever. Thank beautiful you. Beautiful voice. I say you you sing very beautiful uh, Claudette. You you must practice more and sing more and, and I start pushing to sing. No. And the same thing with Adrian. With uh, Adrian. Adrian, yes. Mm -hmm. No. And I can believe Adrian, oh, one thing. She was very, good and says, shy. shy. Timida, timida. I was timida, very shy. shy. I still kind of am. Adrian, no, Adrian was, go ahead. And we see that now in Jet and Bo. So my dad has been working with my girls um, to sing this song that he sang with, uh, with Adrian and I. And it was like our favorite song and it was called Su Nombre. Hi guys. I'm going to sing today with Papi Lindo, Su Nombre, and it's a song that he's made up. 
and he singed with my mom and my auntie. And now he's singing it with us. Let's go. It was a song that him, Titi Adrian, and my mom um, used to sing in their church. And today we're going to sing it. Para mí, como siempre, es motivo de alegría, satisfacción y todas esas cosas, el cantarles, cantar al Señor, cantar para ustedes. Pero en esta noche es algo muy especial cantar con el, con el acompañamiento de mis dos hijas, Claudette y Edrian. Cuando el corazón siente la emoción de expresarle amor a nuestro Señor. Cuando el alma mía canta de alegría por la salvación que me dio Jesús, abro mis labios con emoción. Su nombre, su nombre, es eco en el cielo azul. Jesús, el deseado, los ángeles repetirán. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode with me and Papi and the girls, and I hope to see you guys next week. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notification bell. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Yes. Bye. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. <laughs>